So let's start at the top. What is a cookie? And a cookie, as we're talking about them, I call them browser cookies. These look a little better than the browser cookies, but we know what to do with those. Uh, a cookie is a small text file. So it is a little file that is saved on your computer by your browser. Uh, each browser has cookies. If you use more than one browser like I do, I use Firefox, Chrome, and Edge. Each one of them has cookies uh, that are associated with that browser, uh, but they're all stored on my device, on my laptop in this case. Cookies are responsible for remembering things. That's basically what they are, the little memory modules. And it helps remember things like some of your login information, it may remember your email or telephone number, uh, preferences. So if you've designated you prefer a particular language, a particular location, or a particular type of sporting goods, whatever preferences you may have checked off on a website, it remembers things like that. And uh, if it's a shopping site and you put things in your shopping cart, but you haven't checked out yet, and then you leave the site, if you've got cookies, those items will still be in your shopping cart when you come back. So a lot of good things that cookies do, people tend to think that they're bad. They're not all bad or always bad. These are all things that you want them to do for you. And that's what they're designed for. They're really designed to facilitate and simplify internet browsing. Uh, without any cookies, it would be very difficult to uh, make any sense out of the internet. Uh, I'm going to start with a diagram and kind of just at a very high level explain a little bit about how they work and we'll kind of drill down into more details as we go along. But if I'm sitting here on my laptop and I type in the, uh, the address for a website uh, like www.amazon.com, it sends that information out over the internet to Amazon's server, but it also sends over some cookies. Uh, if those cookies have been flagged as belonging to Amazon, it'll send those cookies to Amazon as well as uh, sending the request for a page. Amazon will then format a page, their home page, and send it back to me. And it may also send additional cookies. And it may be a cookie that's updated the last time that I logged into Amazon. And during the course of my time on Amazon as I'm going page to page, doing things, adding things. Uh, this process kind of keeps going on. I change pages, I do some things. Amazon updates cookies with what I've done. I put something in my cart, it sends, message, it sends a cookie back saying that I put something in my cart. That process is going on while I'm on the Amazon site. Questions at that level? It's more complicated than that, but... We're going to try and start at a fairly high level and work our way uh, down into the details, not too deep. <clears throat> so let's keep going then. I'm going to throw out another term just because you may or may not have seen this. You've definitely seen the implications of it and noticed it uh, lately. And it's called General Data Protection Regulation. And it's typically abbreviated GDPR. And it's a relatively new mandate that's causing uh, a lot of confusion, especially in the United States, but primarily because it is from the, the EU. Uh, it comes to the EU and it's intended to protect uh, European Union citizens' rights to data privacy. But that uh, EU privacy directive requires users to provide consent before cookies or trackers can be placed on their computer. So even organizations that operate outside of the EU must comply with the GP, uh, GDPR regulations or face penalties. And what's happened and where some of the confusion comes from is that we're now starting to see things like this popping up on our screens. We use cookies and you have to agree to allow that site to use cookies or decline and not allow them to use cookies. And in some cases, it has something like change my preferences, where you can uh, make some um, regulations in terms of which types of cookies. We'll talk about that more later. Uh, I think I've got, here's a, another, another one or two. Uh, so they take different formats. This one says, by clicking allow, you agree to the storing of cookies on your device to enhance site navigation, analyze site usage, et cetera. 
So this one says allow all, but again, it's got an option to for cookie consent manager where you can maybe say, I'll allow certain types of cookies, but not all cookies. So that's uh, the confusing part. And this happened fairly recently. So that's where a lot of the questions come from. I never used to see these things. Why am I now getting these little windows popping up asking me if I should uh, accept or decline cookies and what should I do? Should I agree? Should I decline? And hopefully by the end of class, you'll have a better idea of what you want to do when those things pop up. So let's I have a question. Absolutely. This is Sandra about that, the last screen. So I go to a website and I get one or both of those different um, little blocks down there and I just close it. So if I just close it, is that an automatic, I agree because I'm able to go into that site? You know, that's a great question and I don't know the answer to that. And I've got an, an idea, it may change from site to site. Uh, okay. So I, yeah, I'm not sure what okay. the default is uh, based on the strict interpretation of this uh, GDP, uh, GDPR. It says, it says you have to give consent before cookies are, are placed. I would think that if you say, if you don't, if you just X out of it and don't say something, it would not give permissions. So but it still allowed it, me to go into the website. Yeah, and you can still go into most websites, even if cookies okay. are turned off. Okay. Um, what you, you may find out is that uh, you have trouble navigating and doing some things on that website, and we'll talk about that a little more later. Okay, okay, uh, thank uh, you. I have seen some sites that basically say if you decline cookies, then you know we won't let you in because you really can't use our site without cookies. But good question, though. I'm going to, you've got me curious, so I'm going to research that. If I can find an answer, I'll put it in the uh, email. Wait, this is Linda. Huh? Why did they start this cookie stuff? <laughs> Cookies have been around since the internet has been around. Uh, they've been around forever. Uh, they've been more and more creative in terms of how they're using cookies, but they were hiding underneath the scenes since the beginning. Uh, a lot of us weren't aware that they were in there until this whole thing started. And we started seeing these pop-ups. That's when it really was in our face that people are putting cookies on our computers, but they've been around forever. The first websites use uh, cookies. Okay. 